Welcome to the classroom. Today we're talking about joints, faults, and folds. These three important structures are very useful in our geological engineering designs. So what is a joint? Well, a joint is an opening in the rock, okay? It can be caused by a number of different things, but generally a stress change in the rock forces a fracture to open. Often we call joints fractures. Now, those fractures, they could be, like in this drill sample, an actual opening that is not uh, attached, okay, across the fracture plane. But you can see this fracture plane is very rough, okay, and uh, there has not been a lot of shear displacement, okay, it's just opened up. But here's a block of marble, all right, and this line here is actually a fracture. It goes all the way through this sample, but it's intact, okay, this piece is intact, I can't pull it apart. It would be very easy for me to hit this with the hammer and break it apart. Maybe we'll try that in another video. All right, so that's what a joint is, just uh, opening in the rock, but no shear displacement, okay? Normal opening to the fracture plane. But what is a fault? A fault is actually where we take our block of rock and we actually break it and we shear it and often like these uh, foliation planes represented in this 3d printed block the offset from the yellow layer for example is indicating that we've had some shear displacement and that is a fault and often we can use those bedding planes or foliation planes uh, to measure the displacement and there are many different kinds of faults and they depend on the stresses acting on them uh, tectonically how they move they can move up or down and they can move also sideways laterally when we have those tectonic forces and we're near the earth's surface okay the crust of the earth we get brittle deformation like the fault or like the joint however when we're deeper underground and we have heat and pressure then we can create folds okay so in this 3d printed block we actually have a fold printed here as well and that's where we bend the rock in a plastic manner and i have an example here of a fold from the field this is a real rock we've got a quartz layer here and so what is that fold that fold is that bending of this layer okay and uh, you know that quartz is a very strong it's a very hard mineral so in order to bend it, we need to have it under a lot of heat and pressure to uh, create that plastic deformation, okay? And that is what a fold is, that plastic deformation. Why do we want to measure these things? We want to measure the joints or the faults or the folds orientation in space because we can't observe them all in the field. You remember watching the metamorphic rock video we just had small windows in the vegetation and under the that were exposed from under the soil where we could actually take measurements and see the rock so we could actually project you know the limbs or that fold axis spatially into places where we cannot observe it and that can be important when eventually we want to dig an excavation there or we want to put a tunnel through there we need to project these uh, structure spatially so we can create uh, good designs and account for uh, these structures because these structures can be weakness planes which cause blocks of rock to fall down and you know that's not good so we need to support them and this all contributes to collecting information for our engineering designs thanks for watching